But the power of men pales in comparison to the power of God. Watch this. God has all power. And his Holy Spirit was given to us to empower us to be effective in our service to God. Okay. God gave you his spirit not just to speak in tongues. Some of y'all looking at me strange. Uh, 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 my, I, I, know, I know that you spirit feel, but, but, but the spirit is subject to the prophet. Tell somebody, I said, please stop looking at Pastor Strange. I know you're praying for him, but get that deep look off your face. You're making me feel like you don't know what I'm talking about. Are you in, are you in power with the Holy Spirit? Yes. Then you are empowered to comprehend the word. Say, I understand the word. I understand the word. Amen, amen, amen. God, put that back on the screen, Wanda. God has all power, and his Holy Spirit was given to us to empower us to be effective in our service to who? In our service to our egos. In our service to our own agenda. He empowered you to be effective in service to him. The Holy Spirit, watch this, is a comforter. The Holy Spirit is a teacher. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, Kelly. The Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God. Oh, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of power. It is the power of God. And the Bible reads in Luke 10 and 19, Behold, I give unto you power, watch this, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing, and nothing, something, and nothing, your past, and nothing, your haters. And nothing, and nothing that the enemy does shall be able to hurt you, the Bible says. Tell someone the enemy can hurt what God has blessed. The enemy cannot block what God has blessed. The enemy can't stop what God has set in motion. Tell someone to be encouraged on today. Be encouraged on today. The Bible says that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper and every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment you shall condemn. Amen. You don't need your pastor to condemn what's going on in your life. I, I, you know, you know I, I'm talking to an empowered church. Tell someone, I don't need my pastor even though I thank God for him. But pastor has issues of his own. Somebody, I thank God for my pastor, but I don't need my pastor to condemn something that comes up against me. You have been empowered to be a blessing over your own house. You have been empowered to speak a blessing over your own children. You have been empowered to speak a blessing over your own money, over your own mind, and over your own spirit. Tell somebody, I have the power because I am anointed. God, I need your help. See, sometimes we get it twisted. We, 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 we view pastor as the Messiah and not the messenger. Uh-uh. You ain't going to put that on me. I am the messenger. He is the Messiah. I am an under shepherd. He is the chief shepherd. And if I encourage you to pursue him like I'm pursuing him, then we all going to be blessed up in here, up in here. I'm talking to my blessed folk now. If you're blessed up in this place, stand on your feet and let me hear you holler. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. Everything that I touch. No shot caught up say, stop my high five and say, I'm blessed up in here. I don't care what you or your mama think about it. I'm blessed up in here. And that's for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. And because we serve him, we're blessed. Or do I have, do I have about 25, 50, 100 blessed folk who will put your hands together and just give God glory? Uh, God help me. You may be seated. You may be seated. God help me. God help me. Say with me once again, faith. faith. Plus the power of the Holy Spirit. Equals the anointing. Yeah. Uh, tell someone, I am anointed to serve. Oh, that's the wrong neighbor. You keep looking back at that one who thinks they, that they need to be served. But tell that one who's sitting on the other side, I am anointed to serve. Now, now the question is, Ryan, what is 
the anointing. Mm. Uh, what does it mean to be anointed? Rhoda, uh, to be anointed means that you have been empowered and deputized by the Spirit of God to make a life-changing impact whenever you show up on the scene. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. when, when you walk inside of a sick room, healing shows up. You, when, when you walk into a place of poverty, uh, 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 prosperity shows up. Mm. Let me hear, let me see everybody, a uh, hand who's not afraid of money. I'm talking to you. Let me see you wave your hands. Uh -huh, uh. When you walk inside of a room that is filled with depression, guess what? Joy shows up. Mm. Um, um, pat yourself on the chest and say, I am joy. Mm. Tell them, I am peace. Tell somebody, I, tell you I am prosperity. Say, I am who God says I am in spite of who does not like it. To be anointed by God means that you represent the dominant factor. Yeah, that's, how, that's how we do it. We, we, we take over. Mm -hmm -hmm. We, 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 we duplicate. We, we replicate. We, we take over. And, 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 and we, we don't make any apologies for it. Sometimes people will try to get you or try to make you feel guilty for being anointed. When they don't understand that in order for you to be anointed, you had to be crushed. You, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand that I had a garden of Gethsemane moment in my life where the Holy Spirit had to crush me because he was trying to get out of me what God placed in me. And you're going to try to hate on my, on my glory when you don't know my story? That's why I keep telling you, don't worry about what people have to say. Ah, ah, you are too worried about being accepted by the rejected. You don't, you, you don't know who you are. God help me, God help me. You, you still trying to figure it out. Are you think I'm going to let you tell me who I am? God help me, God help me, make in trouble. Your wife doesn't have respect for you. So you can't tell me how to get respect from my wife when y'all don't respect you. You working on your fourth husband. You can't tell me how to keep a man. You can tell me how to lose one. See, 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 see. Your main issue is that you have unworthy mentors. Your problem is you sowing your good seed into soil that has not been qualified. And the way that you qualify soil. You qualify soil by seeing if that soil has produced what you want to see. And if that soil has not produced what God said and what you want to see, don't put your good seed in it. See, see, the problem is not your seed. The problem is the soil. Because what you sow into will grow on you. Look at your neighbor and say, yes, I have good seed. But I've got to qualify the soil because what I sow into will grow on me and i got to be careful. I feel the spirit of God in this place. Tell someone, there's not anything wrong with your seed. God put good stuff in you. Something wrong with the soil. Ah, oh, God help me. God, tell somebody, I am anointed to serve. To be anointed means that you are an overcomer mm, because, because the greater one resides on the inside. Therese, 1 John 4 and 4 reads, you are from God, my children, 
I have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is within the world. Tell someone, the greater one lives on the inside. Oh, God help me to be anointed by God. Watch this. Means that God has placed his mark on you. God has placed his mark on you to let the world and the devil know that you have his approval, sponsorship, and protection. Uh, say with me, I have God's approval, sponsorship, and protection. Watch this. To be anointed means that in the end I win. Mm. Because God is with me, in me, and working through me. Pat yourself on the chest and say, I am anointed, therefore in the end I win. Say, God is with me, in me, and working through me. Confess, I am anointed to serve. Now, now, just to teach you, just to teach you, uh, the origin of the anointing, or the origin of anointing, came from a tactic practiced by shepherds, lice, and other intrusive insects, would often get into the wool of sheep. And when they got near the sheep's head, they could enter into the sheep's ear. Mm, God help me. Which would cause an infection that would ultimately kill the sheep. Mm. So ancient shepherds poured oil. They, they poured oil on and anointed the heads of sheep, causing the sheep's wool to become slippery making it impossible for insects to get near the sheep's ear because they will slide off. Oh, God help me. Metaphorically speaking, this is why we, the children of God, have to be careful as to what we allow into our hearing. God help me. God help me. The place, watch this, our hearing, the place where our faith is formed. Because the Bible says in Romans 10 and 17 that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And if the wrong thing enters into your hearing, God help me, negativity, doubt, and disbelief, your hearing can become infected, resulting in the death of your faith. Tell us what I must guard my hearing. Because I don't want my hearing to become infected because it can kill my faith. Jesus said in St. John 10, 4 and 5, my sheep, tell someone my sheep, my sheep knoweth my voice and a stranger they will not follow. God says, as your shepherd, I have anointed your head with oil, enabling you to hear my voice when I speak instruction. And you have to be able to to differentiate between God's voice and your will. Uh huh. You, 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 you have to be able, thank you, Holy Spirit, not only to discern the voice, but also able and willing to obey the voice when the voice goes against your will. Because many of us know the voice, but we begin to act stupid. And act as if we cannot comprehend because the voice is saying something contrary to our desire. But you know when you have begun to mature in the spirit, when you say, God, not my will. God, God, I, 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 he's fine. Oh, yes, he is. He, he's fine. Uh, 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 he doesn't have four and five and six babies. But, but. You said no. And, and the way that I know you're saying no is because he's trying to get me to do things that would jeopardize my anointing. See, see, Luther lied to you and you believed the lie. Luther told you that love won't let him wait. No, baby, lust won't let you wait. But love is patient, kind, long-suffering, and if he loves you, he will endure the pain until the I do. I tell somebody, sing this, let me tell you something. If he loves you, he will endure the pain. And brothers, you know what kind of pain I'm talking about. He will endure the pain until he makes you legitimate. Tell him, it's my church, I can say it like I want to say it. Tell him, 
Brother, no ringing, no 